Hey, this is Jens, and I've been working on a very interesting project, filming spores. Therefore, I have used a very special mushroom, which produces billions of spores. The golden oyster mushroom, which is a fantastic gourmet mushroom. This was a great opportunity to test my new camera, the Sony Alpha 6700, which is able to film macro at 4K 120 frames per second. Grab a coffee, lean back, and enjoy this miracle. Fungi are one of the most diverse organisms on Earth and contribute to many aspects of life as we know it. They're the most populous kingdom on the planet. An estimated 3.8 million fungi exist worldwide. And yet, more than 90% of them are currently unknown to science. And you might be surprised to learn the mushroom kingdom can be quite animalistic too. They breathe like us and some are known to even eat flesh. The golden oyster mushroom is able to launch up to 30,000 spores per second. The cluster of mushrooms I took this 10-day time lapse of is able to produce 50 trillion spores per day, which covered my camera, my lights, and my grotent with a thick layer of white spores. Here are some freaky, fascinating facts about the world of fungi. A fungus is neither plant nor animal and belongs to its own fungi kingdom. But genetically speaking, they're more closely related to animals than plants. Like us, they breathe in oxygen and give out CO2 and as such even contribute to global warming. Forget the blue whale. The biggest living organism on the planet is a fungus known as the honey mushroom. But despite its rather sweet-sounding name, it kills trees, feeding off both live and dead wood for nutrients. Discovered in 1998, the Armillaria ostoyae covers almost 10 square kilometers in the Blue Mountains of US State, Oregon. Not only is it a giant, it's also been around for a while. Scientists say it's at least 2,400 years old. Mushrooms are also largely responsible for the rain in rainforests. Here, fungi release masses of spores into the air, and as they float above the forest, they attract moisture. Essentially, they act as nuclei for the formation of raindrops in clouds, which are low-lying in these warm, wet environments. And when these tiny somersaulting balls have collected enough water around them, they fall back to Earth as rain. In fact, 90% of tropical raindrops have a fungal spore at their heart. Research shows that some mushrooms use evaporative cooling to create convective airflows capable to distribute their spores even when they are close to the ground with no wind, they can transport spores by cooling down. The warm air around them will pick up the spores and transport them over long distances. I hope that you enjoyed my macro videos and time lapse and that you learned something interesting today. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.